I'll walk through the process of how to install Apache 2.4 on Windows 10. So the first thing to do is just come to Apache uh, Lounge. And this is where we'll get our files. And what we want to do is just go to um, Downloads here on the left. And this is going to have the uh, Apache, the Windows um, uh, zipped files. And then we're going to go ahead and install those. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure you have the latest uh, C++ redistributable from uh, for Visual Studio 2015. So go ahead and select that link at the top and then go ahead and download it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and choose the 64-bit and click Next there. It's going to go ahead and download and I'll save it. Okay, so once it's download, um, it's going to go and I'll open the folder and let me just go ahead and run it. I'll agree and install. Okay, so now it says that the setup was successful. So don't forget that uh, first part just to get the um, Microsoft uh, C++ redistributables. The next one uh, that we're going to do is, is go ahead and install the or go ahead and download the Apache uh, 2.4 I'm going to get this one right here, the 64-bit. Okay, I'll go ahead and save it. And it'll download, and then it'll download as a zip file. And what I'll do is I'll put this um, at a location in my Windows directory. Uh, I'll put this on my C drive. And let me go ahead and make a new folder here. And I'll call this one Apache uh, 2.4. Okay, so it's going to run the security scan there for the downloaded file. And then I'll um, visit that. If I just want to skip that security scan, I can just go to Downloads, and I'll see it's right there. Um, and let me go ahead and just extract all. So it's going to go ahead and extract the files uh, just to this local uh, Downloads folder. And then what I'll need to do is just transfer them in um, uh, into that other directory. Now, one thing that um, I'll just show while this is uh, while this is going right now is um, one one thing that you'll need to do is just on folder options. Okay, so folder options. Um, let's see. Okay, then on view, you want to go to um, deselect this hide extensions for known file types. We want to go ahead and show the extensions so that we can change them, for example, so we can see things like .zip. Okay, so once this is done, um, I'm going to go ahead and go into this directory. And this is where all of the Apache uh, files are and the binaries. And I'll go ahead and copy these. And now if I just want to copy the Apache 2.4 um, directory as well, I could just do that. Um, I've got to wait till this thing finishes. Um, extracting all the way. Don't forget to uh, wait for that. Okay, then once it finishes, I'll go ahead and copy them over and then I'll show you how to um, start the Apache service and be able to test your uh, your local uh, installation. Okay, so it's almost done. Um, and okay. 90%. I'll just wait a couple more seconds for this to complete. Um, one thing to do that we're gonna we're gonna do uh, eventually just to test it is gonna be to test uh, localhost uh, like this, and you'll see that nothing. It's gonna have an error. Uh, it can't find that page. Once we're done installing, we'll see that it's gonna work. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and now that it's done, I'll go ahead and copy this and then come to my PC. Uh, there's Apache 2.4. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and override uh, what's there. Okay, so it's good. it uh, copies it over. And let's just make sure I have everything in there. Okay, so it has um, in instructions on installing. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is uh, go ahead and just create a new. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file here, uh, just so I can get a command prompt. Or you can come here to and type CMD. 
okay and then uh, run right click and then run as administrator or what you can do is come here and just create a new bat file okay so I'm going to do create a new text document and then I'll just call this local dot uh, bat um, and I'll change I'll select yes if it asks me if I want to change it and then I'll edit this and so I can just do change directory to C and then I'll do Apache 2.4 and I'll change it into the uh, bin directory and then I'll start my CMD. Okay, and now, another way to do this is just to right click on this bat file now and then run as administrator. And it'll ask me if I want to grant it administrative rights, I'll select yes. Okay, so that's the second way of, of doing this. You can see uh, some of the files that are in that directory. This is the bin directory right here. And uh, the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and just install the service. So I've got httpd.exe. Um, it's a little bit small, so it's hard to see. Actually, let me start this here and see if it's uh, just a little bit easier to see if it uh, is a little bit larger. Select yes if it asks you. Okay, this is a little bit better. I'll go ahead and change in there. Uh, Okay, Apache, tap complete there, um, and then go into bin. And then what I want to do is httpd.exe, and I'll do k install. So I have to have, have administrative rights to be able to do this, otherwise it's going to give me an error. And then it's going to go, going to go ahead and install the Apache service. Okay, so it's going to take just a little bit of time uh, to get everything going. and. Okay, and then uh, it'll ask me, um, you know, the Windows firewall has blocked some of the features of this app, and I'll go ahead and just allow access here. Okay, and now, um, now let's just go back. It's not, um, okay, it's not going to work yet. What I need to do now is I've installed it as a service, but now I need to start it. So I'll do HTTPD. Okay, .exe, and then you can do either the um, dash s for start or k start. Okay, now it's going to go ahead and start my service. And now when I do this, um, it's going to say it works. And if I want to change uh, the files that it serves up, I come into the htdocs, and then I just edit the index.html, and um, it works and I'll give it a couple more exclamation marks okay and then if I come back here and just hit refresh then it shows that it works okay so that concludes um, this tutorial on how to install the Apache server 2.4 on Windows and uh, the other thing that I'll just show you if you don't want to work with the command line to start or stop that you can also come back into this bin directory and start the Apache monitor Okay, and that one, um, is this uh, little thing right here, and then you can start or stop or restart, for example. Uh, it'll ask you uh, for administrative privileges if you're going to start or stop it, uh, but then you can see a little status um, down there too. If it's green, then it's running, and if it is, um, if you stopped it, then it's going to be, uh, it'll turn red. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so that's just a little bit about uh, Apache Monitor as well. Uh, in the next uh, tutorial, I'm going to show how to install PHP as, as well. And so I'll put a little link at the end of this on how to add PHP to your Apache install.